Good morning and welcome to the Data Management and Collaboration, Managing the Product Lifecycle Webinar. My name is Jan Rabi and I will be presenting this webinar. We'll walk through the different areas where using PDM can help your business and talk about what capabilities are best suited to your specific needs. So let's go ahead and get started. So today's Vault family of products is a comprehensive PDM solution that allows you and your engineers to better manage your product, uh, project, product and design data tracking, the entire development life cycle. PDM stands for Product Data Management. The first thing I like to do is level set on the meanings of, or meaning of um, PDM. For this conversation, let's define PDM as a strategy for managing your product related data and information along with your engineering process all in one single location. PDM comes down to three things, data, people, and process. PDM is managing data, all the files and metadata that make up for the source code for your product. The business impact. How does this impact the business or the company that you work for? Challenges have significant business impact. Data management challenges cost businesses time and money. They also limit the amount of time engineers and designers can focus on innovation. Too much wasted time. The most common impact of data management challenges is wasted time and effort. In fact, companies waste an average of 20.3% of their technical resources, time on non-productive data management tasks. That's about one workday a week of non-value added time. Some companies report even more wasted time. Companies routinely miss new product introduction targets. The impact of these challenges also include missed deadlines and budgets. About two thirds of companies routinely miss design due dates, project, program budgets, and time to, manage, uh, to market calls by more than 5%. About one third missed quality targets are at, um, at that level. Manufacturers lose time and money because of in inadequate data management. Product complexity has increased, but the business of developing and delivering new products has have, um, also increased across multiple dimensions. The market is more dynamic. Companies say that customers' needs or requirements are changing more rapidly. About a third say that it has increased significantly. Manufacturing products has also um, gotten more dynamic. About a third have increased contract manufacturing. But more telling is that the majority has experienced more frequently supply chain, manufacturing partners changes. And there's continued increase in globalization and the demand for customization. Each of these is challenging, but it's important to recognize these challenges are happening at the same time. And the cumulative increase of complexity is enormous. Nearly one in three companies said that they have worked on wrong outdated data. For those that work with CAD files every day, is probably no surprise to see finding the right information and wasted time searching for data are challenges reported by almost one half of um, respondents. Many companies struggle with the basics of PDM, controlling, assessing, and sharing product data. Capturing and reusing engineering knowledge is an area where most people understand the benefits, yet it is not always um, practiced. According to the Tech Clarity research, 31% of engineers said that reusing design data is a significant challenge, is a, is a significant challenge um, as they are developing a product. Going beyond just reusing data, many engineers um, don't have a way to re revisit past engineering decisions to understand the rational uh, um, between them. For instance, why was a change to a certain design needed? And what approach did they take to implement the change? This number is up 2% from our, their last um, the Tech Clarity research from 2015. Questions to ask. This is important questions to ask. Has your company lost productive data? What do you do to overcome the loss? or recreate the data? Has your company started manufacturing using wrong or outdated data? What was the value of that? 
Did you identify the root cause of it? Did you take any steps to prevent it from happening again? Are you able to copy design data as much as you think you should? What is the value of copying design? Do you measure it in productivity or reduce product costs, quicker time to market? What value do you think your engineers would get out of easily finding and understanding past design decisions? Do you have engineering best practices and why do you institute them? More than 40% of all companies report an issue with collaboration. 42% collaborating with other departments and 40% collaborating with customers, suppliers and other third parties. Collaboration is an essential part of the development process, but nearly half of all companies surveyed by Tech Clarity said it was a significant challenge. There are collaboration issues internal to the technical resources, such as working on wrong or outdated data. But just as common are challenges with working with other departments inside the company as well as outside the company, such as customers or suppliers. Wasted engineering and productivity is one of the most common reasons companies begin considering PDM. Tech Clarity found that engineers waste an average of 20% of their time managing design data. This is an equivalent of a day, a day, a week or more for each technical resource on staff. This number is up 5% from the Tech Clarity research we did in 2012. Even at small and mid-sized manufacturers, we're seeing more than are more and more product development handled by different departments or teams distributed all over the world. This creates some significant collaboration issues. It was noted by 42% of the respondents in Tech Clarity survey as a top product development process challenge. It's obviously most common at companies um, with teams in multiple sites, be it just down to the road across the country or on the other side um, of the world. Sharing information becomes more difficult the further apart they are. The questions to ask. Are your engineers able to work together effectively? How easy is it for your engineering team to collaborate with other departments such as manufacturing, purchasing sales? Can you easily share data and information with outside suppliers and customers? What do you think the impact of these collaboration issues is? Does it slow down productive development? Does it um, result in errors that need um, corrected late in development? How much time do, you, do your engineers waste? What is the value of that time to you? Where do you think all the primary sources of wasted time? Are engineers in different sites able to access um, data equally? Are you getting the full value out of your multiple engineering sites that you would expect? 57% of companies have issues managing change and release. PDM is about more than managing your CAD files and helping people collaborate and work effectively. The second phase is looking at the engineering workflows and processes that are centered around the data, such as managing change, design reviews, project management, and build of materials. 57% up to 14% since 2015 of the companies in Tech Clarity Survey started that they had challenges with managing change. Another 33% up to 4% since 2015 managing design projects. These engineering processes are essential and managing them effectively can have high returns. Compliance is also a major issue with more than one in three companies reporting challenges with understanding requirements, lack of defined processes, for managing compliance and determining current compliance status. And then again, questions to ask yourself. How do you handle change and release today? Are these processes efficient? Do they include all necessary parties? Can members and executives easily see current project status? What benefits do you think you would realize from better to managing these processes? How would you characterize your ability to ensure compliance? Do compliance issues slow down your product development process and have compliance issues resulted in lost business or customers? Autodesk Vault with data, people and process. With data, securing intellectual property 
capturing and reusing engineering knowledge, bill of materials are managed automatically and connected design data. How Bolt can help you working with people. Engineers have visibility into what other, others are working on at any given time. Engineers in different locations are working from the same set of data and team members outside engineering access the right design data. There's something called permissions when you have a Vault application installed. If you only want your engineers to only view a design or a drawing and not make any changes, you can change those permissions so that the engineer can only view um, the drawing or the design. Working with the process, revision control and history, CAD and documentation, engineering standards enforcement, and manage release and change processes. Comprehensive capabilities with the user. You can search and reuse, concurrent design, any CAD integration, relationships tracking, and project organizations. With process, you can publish and view content management, the lifecycle and revision management, approvals and change management, and then with the enterprise. Security, you can do reporting, web-based and remote access, multi-site replication and enterprise integration. The web-based is called the thin client. We will get to that one. Now the highlights. Why do customers choose Vault Solution? The PDM and CAD have to be tightly integrated to leverage between design experience and synced releases. You can reuse engineering knowledge by delivering powerful tools and facilitate change management, tasks, requirements, and events. Utilize flexible resources by connecting global sites as well as suppliers. And then connect enterprise systems to ensure smooth collaboration with other departments. Reuse engineering knowledge efficiently. The Vault copy design capability. After this time, I'm going to show you a quick little short video that explains everything step by step on how to copy or reuse the data. Control over the entire process, copy, reuse, and replace components, updating copied components as well as drawings of copied components. Support all inventor specific features, instance based, and then high performance for large and complex uh, assemblies by executing operations on the server side. Handle rules like inherit properties or clean up during copy the process, and then iLogic management. Look at the following video. Autodesk Vault 2020 continues to improve copy design for all working professional directly in response to your feedback through the Autodesk community. The quickest way to create a new design is to start with an old one. Autodesk Inventor's multi document file structure adds complexity to copy designs. Vault makes copy inventor designs simple. The copy design function in Vault 2020 has seen significant improvements both the user interface and workflow. The copy design function itself is now a mobile styling, allowing you to interact with the whole client at the same time as copy design. In the main grid of the copy design dialog, switch between tree, flatness, and bottom view, or use the shortcut keys to quickly toggle between views. You can now edit the new copies file name, folder name, or folder destination directly in the copy design group, or use find and replace to edit multiple entries at once. When using a standard numbering scheme, you can now add a numbering scheme column to the main grid, and you'll see the new file name after you run the copy operation. New in 2020 is the option to remove linked data, such as attachments and bomb objects during the copy design process. Additional options to check duplicate file names and folder permissions during the process of copying the design and then limiting the copying of old versions makes it easier than ever to work fast while maintaining your company's data management standards. Autodesk Vault 2020 continues to build on your feedback from Autodesk ideas, forums, and this community with these security improvements. Right, so now you can see that it's very easy for them, uh, for you to reuse and copy the design involved using the data. Take control over your CAD and project data. 
easily create, organize, and share project information with project organization, relationship tracking, X-ray substitutes, property synchronization, reporting tools to analyze data. And then you can track design and project history with workflow life cycles, automatic drawing revision tables, and secure and control data access. Design engineering task automation free up designers for manual and repetitive tasks. You can sync metadata revision tables with CAD files during release processes. You can convert the CAD files into visualization with um, uh, file DWFs, publish released drawings into the documentation format PDF, and add custom specific tasks like transfer data. The Vault PDM extensibility, enterprise solutions beyond CAD management, outside of engineering, item and bill of material management, change management, library management, and manage business processes like task requirements, etc. Flexible and scalable enterprise collaboration. Synchronization options for any situation between direct access, file replication, and database replication. Scale to any size team. Synchronization options can be mixed, cloud enabled AWS and Azure, Azure and then Citrix enabled. You can see here on the image on the right hand side top, a lot of people can work on the same server. We have your main server and then connecting it to work files for certain people to work on in different departments on their own files. Smooth collaboration with other departments. Vault thin client. This is the web based client that I just spoke about. You have easy access to production documents, article, bill of material information, central provision of documents project information and project data. And it can be used throughout the company without installation and unlimited numbers of um, users. Now, you only need access to the internet and you type in the link in your URL and you have access to your web-based thin client vault. Automation solutions. Some of you have heard us talk about it. The future of making. Design automation is one of the best examples of this concept, and here is why. It's because it touches on all three of the core elements of the future of making. If you go through uh, in, on the more aspects, people are requiring and demanding more products based on their custom needs. In the less aspect, the more you make, the fewer resources you have uh, um, available to work on real design and engineering innovation. Automation is about reducing the amount of time your engineers are spending on tedious tasks so that they can focus on important work. At last, automation represents an opportunity to do um, everything better and faster for your entire product development cycle, all the way from sales to shipping the final product. So again, design automation checks off all the boxes for the three aspects of the future of making. Let's face it, the world is ever changing thanks to technology. If you don't welcome these changes, then you risk being left behind. In order to survive, businesses need to pursue strategies which reduce costs, save time, and increase efficiency. Don't be that person being stuck in your old ways, being very comfortable in your um, the position that you are at. You have to make risks and stay with the technology to better yourself and your company. Your most valuable asset is the people you work with. People come and they sometimes go. How do you ensure that the knowledge is going to stay with you and leverage it with other employees in your organization? To level set on design automation, what is it? Basically, it is meant to help you and uh, uh, those around you get more things done in a lot less time. Then what do you do with that time when the time is up? innovate more, or simply get started early on the next project. For some, it's also about winning more bids for customizable products, or getting your designs to manufacturing faster. And BIM compliance is an example of automating tasks. If you need BIM ready designs, there are ways to create them without the manual efforts of simplification, 
data entry and exporting the file. Throughout this presentation, we will talk about automation at all levels. That means everything from personal software use to your team level tasks are all the way to company and wide initiatives like connecting engineering and business systems. We are going to speak to all three of these categories. Design automation is something you uh, that, that grows with you as an engineer and as a company. Everything you do, big or small, has a positive impact. It is also scalable. The work you do today, even on small projects, can later be repurposed uh, um, for the next level in automation. You never lose the work you put into a project. Let's begin at a fundamental level of design, automation in 3D modeling and the specialized tools available in Autodesk Inventor, parametric modeling and specialized tools. Inventor has a wide range of specialized tools to automate your design and engineering workflows. Now, using Inventor is not just about moving from 2D world over to 3D. It's about designing your concepts and ideas more efficiently. In order to do that, there um, has to be some sort of automation involved. Design intent, for example, enables you to predict how your parts and assemblies will behave. Inventor provides you an opportunity to describe your model or build intelligence into um, it so that the inevitable um, changes happen the way you expect them uh, to change. And those changes propagate um, to downstream applications like drawings, analysis, and CAM tool paths, all updated according to your modifications to the geometry. Also, specialized tools are available for several model types, including sheet metal designs and plastic part designs. These features make it easier to model in 3D and provide all the engineering criteria um, for bend and allowance so that you know your parts are accurate according to the machines used to make them. There are plastic part features that are um, specifically designed to make modeling faster, such as BOSP. Um, features for fastness. Lip and groove features are often part of the plastic bar design and is done quickly in Inventor. There is a snap feature for common shapes for um, snap fits between components. Those are just a few of the examples of features that are going to make plastic bar design more of a design task rather than a 3D model challenge. Take a look at some of um, the features included with the sheet pixel design in this sh short video. The sheet metal environment inside of Autodesk Inventor allows you to build components with material and fabrication process in mind. Your sheet metal designs are controlled by industry standards for bend allowance, point release, and more to ensure a flattened model accurately represents the finished product. The sheet metal environment has its own tool palette for creating sheet metal features and modifying sheet metal geometry. Tools such as flange, hem, and bend allow you to create geometry without the need to create a 2D sketch. Sheet metal corners can be created with a fabrication method in mind, whether you need a simple square relief or one created for laser weld. The punch tool helps create commonly used features from the library. You can also create your own custom punch tool to speed up the design process. Sheet metal also allows for patterning and mirroring. This helps not only create parts faster, but also makes them more flexible. And when you need to create more complex components, such as a transition, the lofted flange command is specifically designed to transition between two sketches and supports multiple output options for proper fabrication. Sheet metal flat patterns are generated with a simple clip. You can export those flat patterns in multiple formats for downstream use. Sheet metal tools inside of Autodesk Inventor allow you to quickly create sheet metal parts that are designed to specific fabrication standards, helping make sure your parts not only fit, but perform as expected. And there's more. Wildframe design only requires you to build a wireframe and select structural profiles for them. Even solve your wildframe in seconds using beam elements. 
tube pipe constraints are the hardware you need for applying your um, roots for rigid pipes, bent tubes, and flexible houses. Just draw the root wireframe and specify the material and components that are included. These two components that you see here in front of you on the right hand side have been created using the, wire, uh, the, the wireframe command. Please look at the next follow video. The nature of structural frame design with standard frame profiles and common treatments makes a relatively simple yet tedious modeling task that is perfect for automation. Autodesk Inventor makes frame design simple with tools specifically created to make inserting frame members, applying end treatments, analyzing the performance of frames fast. Let's take a look. Starting with parametric scope and geometry for the frame. You can begin inserting the frame members by specifying the family, size, and material from a library containing thousands of standard profiles. Inventor gives you complete control over the placement of each member. It sketches, edges, or points to position your frame members, with options to offset or rotate the frame member profile relative to the geometry selected. Once the size and placement of the frame members is determined, the frame members are inserted into the assembly and automatically numbered based on your preferred file and part of the scheme. To strap more frame members into the design, corner treatments can be used to trim, monitor, or create notches between limits. And end caps can be inserted from the content center to terminate free ends. The standardized nature of frame design also makes it easy to set up and perform structural analysis to make sure your design performs. Well, just add your constraints, for example, whether the frame is fixed to the floor, and you can start specifying what the loads will be applied. Loads can be applied as point forces, axial loads, or continuous loads across the length of the frame unit. The solve time for frame analysis is super quick, so you can immediately begin reviewing the displacement and stress results to determine the further design requirements required. With automated commands for designing structural frames and a simple to use analysis environment to make sure your designs will perform to the clients, Inventor gives you the professional grade tools you need to get the frame design done fast. Purchase components are the last thing you want to spend time modeling for your assemblies. Inventor has you covered. Choose from hundreds of thousands of standard components for your design. Even use our design accelerator to create specialized components like gears, bearings, and cams. It also contains engineering and calculators that are built inside of Inventor. All the most important tools you need from your machinery handbook. Please look at the following video, explaining everything to you. You don't want to spend time on standard components like nuts and bolts, and you don't have to. The Autodesk Inventor Content Center allows you to generate over 750,000 standard components, from fasteners to sharp components, and from rooted systems to structural steel. The Content Center libraries cover 18 international standards, including ISO, ANSI, and DIN. In addition to the standard components included, you can also publish your own files and manage them with Content Center. Let's see Content Center in action. In this example, parts are inserted directly from Content Center. Notice how the parts automatically size themselves to suit the features selected. Once inserted, Content Center parts can be resized or redefined from the library and then contain all the information needed to automatically populate your materials. Content Center supports inventive design accelerators, a collection of rule-based design tools that allow you to quickly generate components around your functional requirements. A fasteners, design a frame, and power transitional spring system directly from Content Center components. No need to model any parts yourself. In the inventor rooted systems environment, Content Center provides components for your piping runs and cable harnesses. Designing mechanical systems which include flexible or rigid piping roots using your existing geometry as a reference. Content centers supply hoses, pipes, tubes, and industry standard pipe fittings such as flanges and couplers. 
these are alleged mechanical systems, which are linked to your optical electrical schematics. Modeling the design using optical electrical data and content centers linked library components. You want to spend your time engineering and designing, not modeling. Autodesk invented content center libraries save you time and effort. Reduce modeling time, increase standardization, and make use of inventive design accelerators with Autodesk Inventor Content Center. Right, like you said in the video, why would you want to model everything if Inventor already has everything for you and you just can insert it and modify it to whatever you want or what you need in your model or design. The new product configurations. Now that we spoke about the automation tools for design work, let's take it up a level. Inventor offers the ability to capture the engineering rules of your design so that you can make reuse it to make new rapid configurations. New product configurations. Now, going again back to the design automation, a growing number of companies and individual inventor users are um, with witnessing the um, power of implementing our logic in their daily activities to improve their efficiency. Now, just in design, but also in manufacturing software that works in inventor. That's 30 percent new product configurations. Making changes to your designs is easy when you include good design intent. You can make it even easier by specifying values that are open for change. So you get um, your designs to manufacturing faster, reduce repetitive tasks and more time to innovate. Time and accelerate sales growth for custom products. In fact, according to a study by industry analyst Tech Clarity, automating product customization for rule based design is the best practice of top performing manufacturers. So, why isn't everyone automating product configurations? Setting up rules and making configurable accessible to sales reps and engineers often requires specialized programming knowledge, significant investments in development, and a lot of time. But with Autodesk Inventor, setting up and deploying a product configurator has never been easy. First, build the logic that drives the configurator. Inventor iLogic technology is specifically designed to take the complexity out of the program using parameters you've already defined in the model. Plus, a huge library of code snippets, it's easy to define rules. Then, create forms inside the Inventor to provide a more intuitive front end to the configurator. Just select those parameters, rules, and other properties you want to be available for configuration. They're automatically added to your form, no programming required. Then move them together in form or separate them into different tabs for better organization. Finally, add text and pictures to provide instructions or to describe the parameters. Use your configured products to launch streams to create drawings, perform simulations, or generate machine tool paths. This accelerates the design to manufacturing process, enabling you to shorten the delivery time frame and get the products to customers faster. With Inventor, you get all the benefits of a product configurator without complex programming knowledge or high upfront investment. Sales enablement. If you are a designer watching this presentation, have you ever been taken away from your work to make changes to an existing design for a bid or a customer? You can greatly reduce that by creating a form, uh, form so anyone can make design changes, even if they don't know how to use Inventor. Provide colleagues, sales reps, and end users with an intuitive interface for configuring products. Now, if you are a designer, have you ever been asked to make a change to a design for a new bid um, or customer request? For some of you, this is on occurrence that happens often. Did you know you can empower others to do this work for you? Even if, even if they don't know how to use Inventor, create forms that are um, easy to use so that they can do the work on their own. You may even prefer to use the forms yourself. Within the form, establish constraints and ranges 
um, so users don't configure something that your company doesn't make. As a salesperson, you can be confident that the configurations that are generated from the form will produ produce a design that you know can be manufactured. With the Inventor API and Visual Basic.net, the possibilities to automate become endless. Go beyond configurations, new designs, to automating engineering processes. The API is very powerful. It provides the ability to automate almost anything you see in the user interface of Inventor. Why is the Inventor API so powerful? It takes you beyond the basics, automate repet uh, repetitive tasks, set up design rules, check drawings, ERP and MRP integrations, and create your own addition uh, uh, add-in for Inventor. For a long time, Autodesk Inventor has had the power uh, full automation tools that we have been discussing. Now we are talking all the capabilities that we placed on the desktop and making it available on the Forge platform. Now, we are on the design automation APIs and Forge for Inventor, where we can create a complete custom experience for your customers and automate your entire product development process from sales, purchasing raw material, design work, manufacturing, all the way to getting your product out of the door. It makes your entire process more efficient. Automating workflows and processes increases productivity, reduces errors, and saves costs. Now, you can automate your inventor process in the cloud to achieve collaboration and automation at scale. Today's product design and manufacturing via an M environment is hindered by disconnected experiences, technology, and data, especially when collaborating across departments and firms. With the push to drive, um, innovation and shorten time to mark many customers want to move away from disconnected water for operation models of today to a future that supports more concurrent integrated and automated workflows one supported by a robust cloud data platform as inventor moves towards this connected future find out how forge data enables anyone along the dnm pipeline to collaborate um, on the data they need from anywhere at the same time with the appropriate level of control. Explore how you might easily plug in your apps and services to a platform that connects information and people across the design and manufacturing workflows. And now, the Design Automation API provides the ability to use the core APIs of your favorite CAD engines in the cloud leveraging the scale of the Forge platform to run automated jobs. These jobs could be highly repetitive um, or frequent, or could be larger platform um, uh, problems that need large scale processing power. With the Design Automation API, you can offload the processing the, uh, to Forge platform, which can process these jobs at a much greater scale and efficiency. Imagine you have a customer continuously submitting orders um, for custom configurations of your product. Using design automation for Inventor, plus your own custom code and iLogic rules, you can set up an automatic um, responder to receive these orders and prepare its initial documents and models for engineers to fine tune or validate. The automatic handler can modify parameters in part files and assembly files and other relevant drawing files doing all the um, preliminary processes in the cloud and delivering initial documents to engineers' desktops. Engineers can spend their time on the creative, unique, difficult aspects of each job, rather than wasting time of repetitive document and copying. Design Automation API for Inventor provides access to the full Inventor API, the server only, including functionality such as modify parameters and features in IPT which is a part file, configure um, components in IAM assembly, update and fine tune IDW or DWG, which is a drawing file, use our logic rules or custom code, operate on common static files or uh, per job files. 
and then provide results in any inventor supported format. For Shazan Automation API for Inventor, provide a means to automate time consuming and repetitive tasks. They remove the manual and error prone effort, which saves time and enables a faster response with a higher level of consistency. Forge powers insights and workflows through Forge powered web bases um, and mobile apps. Visualize for better decision making, organize for fast and efficient decision making, connect people and systems, connect data, federate data across systems without installing software, and then automate tasks. Speed up responsiveness to customers internal and external, like creation of drawings required but takes a lot of hours. These are the areas that we are focused on. That is configure, export and generate. Then we can place some of the workflows in those buckets. On the configure side, we're talking about some of the things you are automating in engineering in, and, and in sales. If you know our logic, what are some of the things you are doing on a daily basis? Then there is also the idea of exporting. Take advantage of the core code and capabilities that Inventor uses, taking advantage um, of all the time. That is being able to use Inventor translators to save as, um, as a variety of neutral file formats or a native file format like Kacha, PTC, Creo. The ability to export drawings. Then there is a metadata and like information for a bill of material and export it into different systems like MRP and ERP. And finally, we have these things where um, do bulk operation where people are using a job processor or a task manager. This can cause issues when you have multiple engineers or teams um, who are trying to access the license that is generating bulk operations. By using Forge, these is, there is less um, wait time since there is no limit to the amount of jobs that can be run at the same time. And then lastly, to recap a slide you saw earlier, the things you do to automate um, your processes come in all different sizes. And remember that the work you do today can, re can be repurposed um, for logistical automation projects later. You never lose the effort to put into the things you do now. Autodesk Inventor has you covered with your automation strategy. If you do have any questions, please send me an email. Um, my email address is, if you have a pen of paper, I'm just going to give you a few seconds if you want to write it down maybe or type it on your laptop. It is tian at bakerbanks.com, as in T I double A N at bakerbanks.com. And that is it for this presentation. I really hope that you enjoyed it and have a good day.